So I've installed about 12 of these things, the Dragonfire harness inserts, and I thought I'd just give you guys some tips from what made it easier for me. Alright, go ahead and get your template ready, get it folded, cut out, and taped onto the seat. Once you're done with that, trace the inside with a sharpie, and then go ahead and remove the template. The easiest way I've found to cut out the backs of the seat is with a Dremel and a side cutting bit. When you're all done cutting it out, go ahead and flip the seat over, get all the plastic garbage and junk off the seat. And then as soon as you're done with that, you need to test fit the rear piece, make sure it slips in smoothly. If it's squeezing the insert together at all, this will cause issues when you snap both of the insert pieces together. Just trim the inner edges of the hole as needed until you get a good smooth fit. Then go ahead and flip the seat over and let's start working on the other side. Alright, so for this part, Dragonfire says we are going to draw a line one inch down from here all the way from this seam to this seam and follow it parallel. So slant it up, over, down, and about a quarter inch through the threads on each side down here. All right, so we take the razor blade and cut in the center of that line we just made. There we go. Now on to the fun part. So on this side, we just follow the same line that we already cut with the knife through the foam. That's easy. But on this side, we need to come out center. Now, if you shoot straight through the seat, you won't come out center. You have to have it at an angle a little bit in order to come out center. You basically got to try and shove the foam out of the way and stick the insert. In the middle of the foam there. You got to do some serious stretching on the seat material and pushing out of the way of the foam in order to get the thing to fit. Now, start shoving this foam out of the way. I get back. And on one of the other ones, I did do the back piece first and then the front piece. 
That might be a way to go. Just gotta fix all the stuff, tuck it back in. No big deal. I noticed that trying to roll the material down and around the foam seems to uh, make it look real nice and keep slack from building up across here. If you don't cut the sides quite far enough, I think you end up with these little bits of uh, flappy material on the side. All in all, I am pretty happy with that. <laughs>